Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, so I wanted to show you, we've been getting the uh, interior cabinetry in the Ram and camper here. And uh, still still got a few things put in, getting the uh, countertops in, got a little trim for it, and getting everything wired back up. But I uh, thought we'd uh, give you a little sneak peek of what, what it's looking like here. So the rig is still for sale, truck and camper together, or camper on its own. So this is set up for the um, Indel Webasto 130. Um, the Cruise 130, I think it is, will fit perfectly in here. We've got it vented and everything. It's ready to set up. It's it's wired, ready to go. And uh, so here we go. As we go in, we've got just some uh, little storage areas. Figured put some little netting on it. Uh, put odds and ends that you need to grab without getting in. It can also be used as a ladder up top. This is uh, a good little bench and 20 gallon water tank goes inside there. And we've got this uh, cool little sight glass, put a little LED strip behind it. So uh, you never have to depend on one of those um, uh, gauges for the water. You can just see exactly where it is there. So really excited about how this Interior turned out with Old Vice Customs. So, we'll come to the kitchen in a minute. So again, here's our dinette area. We've got a table that with a lagoon mount will drop down flush, turn it into a bed. Now we've got the floor, we got a little bit of storage under there for shoes, whatnot, get out of the way. A little bit of uh, storage under here that goes back and back over there, put some good items. This would be a good spot if somebody wanted a uh, shower. It could be modified with a pan and drain here and, you know, hang the stuff if somebody wanted an indoor shower. So again, as we've shown before, we got the soft clothes. This is one of the features we really wanted to do. We want to have a good amount of storage. So on the outside, I like doing my cooking there. So here's a good spot to keep your stove and my kitchen bag. And you can see you got a ton more space in there to put a bunch of stuff, get organized. I plan on kind of strapping this to the side. And if you're stuck inside and need to cook, you can just pull it out, put it up here. And over here, we've got even more storage that's accessible from the outside. I was quite impressed. This is a big, comfortable camp chair that I recently got, and I really didn't think it would fit, but it fits. It fits really well. Got a couple other chairs. So full size, um, kind of folding camp chair could easily fit. You could probably get three or four of them in there. And then you've still got tons of storage. Uh, this would be a great spot for firewood, uh, really anything, a, a lot more storage once it's together uh, i'm impressed by how much storage there is so i've still got to get the um the window shades and everything back on we've got those off from putting it on but over here is our kitchen area this is where would be the best place for the sink a little sink there i'm gonna put a back, uh, backsplash of this same material and if you wanted to put a stove in you could but again like i mentioned just grab your camp stove there, pop it up there, you're good to go. So we've got a lot of storage down here. We've got our heat down here as well. And it's also uh, got a lot of room to set up either a uh, water heater um, or uh, more electronics, whatever you need space for. So this one here is removable. It pulls out, but it's a good shelf. And as you can see, obviously the sink will come down there, drain back there. So. We've got our diesel heater here. Uh, I haven't hooked it back up yet, so everything's just kind of sitting there. Um, this we we put this in place before the before the interior's all in. Um, so if I was building, putting putting the heat in stuff, you could probably put it in a little better location, tuck it over there a little tighter, be able to run your vents and everything just as well. So we got these really cool latches here. Close nice. So these. In here is just a good general storage area. I like to put these boxes in here. So you got plenty more room in there for stuff, kitchen items, whatever you need. This one down here goes to 
Again, it's a mess down here because I'm getting everything wired back in. So the idea is you put all your power management stuff all over there. You could even, depending on what you had, you could put like Red Arc, Red Vision stuff up there and have, uh, have room to spare. So uh, we got an inverter and the inverter is, I will probably mount the inverter up here. Um, but again, plenty of room. You can put a water heater in here, uh, many more batteries, a lot of options. So as for size, we, we tried to maximize these benches. These benches here, this one is, is good size for uh, either a couple kids or even two adults can fit. It's a little tighter over here with two adults, but we wanted to be able to fit a big fridge. And over here is where the ideal adult space would be. So if I come over here, you can see there's a lot of space. Uh, once we get um, uh, cushions in, be nice and comfortable, get a nice back cushion here with a little bit of angle, a lot of good space, see outside real nice, really comfortable spot, so easily two adults. And then when it folds down into bed, put your feet down at that end and you got a little more room up here. Uh, bed's good for two kids to fit comfortably. Um, two adults, you'd have to like each other. Pretty good for that. So that is pretty much it. Just kind of a brief rundown of the interior. Again, table's going to go here, drop down, and uh, yeah. So that's what we got. We will uh, get everything else thrown together, but this is a good little preview. We'll do a little more uh, comprehensive video here in the future once we get the YouTube going. And uh, might well, help if I had the latches all open. There we go. So even at the sitting, standing on the uh, the floor here, I'm six foot, and I've still got a good probably two three inches head height here. Plenty of room to uh, to move around for for spacing. Somebody can easily be working on the kitchen and still have room to get by. Plenty of room. We, we put a lot of time into the layout and making sure everything fit right. So, uh, yeah, this is what we've got for the interior. Oh, we've got, uh, I put the um, uh, dimmable lights in. This is for the exterior light that's over here. And then you've still got a little kind of cubby access area there to uh, to put things, put all your patches, whatnot. We've got the L track up here, so you can mount whatever you'd like. That's it. If you got any questions? Remember, this one's for sale. Uh, we'll be offering these interiors for all of our builds. Still working on pricing and everything, and uh, fine tuning a couple things, but. Uh, we're real happy with how it turned out. So if you got any questions, let us know. Uh, if you know anybody that would be interested in this, share it with them. Let them know. And uh, we appreciate it. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.